What's up? I am Scotty Too Quick. In a little video, I'm just going to show you how I moto vlog. So if you go to YouTube and you're typing in, you know how to start moto vlogging, how to moto vlog, how to get started moto vlogging, you're going to come up with a lot of videos. Maybe you'll come across this one, maybe you'll check something out, and uh, maybe you'll like my setup, what I got going on here. First is the helmet. Got to have a helmet, got to have a motorcycle two big components of motor vlogging right there because I'm choosing to use the face cam with a GoPro 4 I'll get into all that in just a second but here's my here's my helmet I'm using a Icon Armada Armada chain brain I mean it's a fairly cheap helmet I only pay like 150 160 bucks online for it but I really do like it because I like the graphics I don't like nothing just straight plain even though my bike is black, solid black, I'm going to change the graphics on that too. But I'm creating something custom for that right now as we speak in Adobe Illustrator. Technically not as we speak because how can I do that while I'm filming this video, right? But you get what I'm saying. And I want to get a tinted shield for the summertime over here in South Carolina. But first of all, to get moto vlogging, a couple things that I use. One is the Senna 10R. It's amazing. Me and my buddies, we use. He has one. Both of my buddies have one, and so we all use that to talk to each other while riding. It's very good for safety reasons. And there's the battery pack for the center. And then you shift on around. And then my microphone's inside the helmet, right around here, right at the chin. I and mean, we never really have a problem seeing each other. I mean, hearing each other or anything like that. Except when you got these vents. You know, you might want to turn the vents down, turn the vents off, if you're recording with the GoPro. And I'll tell you why. But anyway. Here's what I got. I'm using the GoPro 4, GoPro Hero 4, Silver Edition. Uh-oh, what did I do? Turn my PlayStation 4 on. <laughs> I don't want to play no games right now. Well, I do, but I'm going to make this video first. Then, this is really crucial. This is the Senna Bluetooth GoPro Backpack. And I pair it with my GoPro. And it allows me to take audio from my, my headset here to the GoPro from whatever I say into my helmet it records automatically on the GoPro and it doesn't and the, the GoPro doesn't pick up anything so it takes over the GoPro's external audio because you're gonna have this out here you got a lot of wind noise coming you don't want to pick that up so I'm picking up whatever I say in my helmet and also whatever my friends say because they have the center as well so we all get that in this but the first thing you gotta do is find a way to mount it to your chin strap your chin not your chin strap your chin or on the side however you want to put it I chose to go with the uh, front mounted position so I can get that full first person view and on this helmet it's got a weird lip you can't see it now but it goes this way then it kind of goes back out that way like that so if you put anything straight on it it doesn't make a flat connection you're gonna have something missing up top and that's why I had to double up on the 3m sticky side of tape red I actually doubled up almost tripled up right there because I did have a GoPro that fell off. And this is still kind of loose. I might go around and put some Gorilla Glue in there just to hold it. But I'll tell you what's a great investment is these tethers right here. Maybe you can see them. Yeah, these are tethers. I put one on each side and they got strings and I attach it to the mount. So if this main front face piece falls off, these tethers are going to pick that up. And I'll see it and it won't go anywhere unless they both rip off. And that would be, that'd be wild and crazy, wouldn't it? But, so... I had to take some 3M tape, double stick it. It's good on the bare bottom. Makes really good connection there. Not so much on the top, so I had to put it double up. So it's got a good flush connection. It's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. I've, rode, I've ridden a couple times, and bam! Hasn't fell off yet anymore. I already lost one GoPro <laughs> because I didn't have it on there correctly. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from my mistakes, motherfuckers. But anyway, I'm going to put the GoPro together. This is how you do it with the... Uh, all right, here we are. We got the GoPro Hero 4. We got the Senna Bluetooth backpack on deck. All right, and on the back here, it's going to cover up the uh, display right there. So, yeah, it's just something you got to deal with. But then you want to attach this to that side like that. There's a little hinge. You see that? On this side, you got the plug in. So, that's obvious. You attach the little hinge. Bam. And you come over here and you push it together. Just like that squeeze it together 
like a little sandwich. And then you take the audio connector that's included with the center, arrow to arrow. Bam, bam. Let's see if you can get that one. Boom. Just like so. Bada bing, bada boom. And then you're connected. And then I just put it in this black housing that came with the Cena Bluetooth audio pack. And there's a couple different modes you can do. I'm not going to give a Cena the Cena, 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 Cena. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Cena. But what I do is I turn it on, turn it like that, and I leave this mic off because I think if you turn it on, what it does is it allows the GoPro's audio to go in it and the Cena go in it. So all you would hear is wind and my voice, so that's not good. Uh, pairing was pretty easy, it's all in instructions. But that's what I do right there. And then I put it in this case. I guess I'll put it in the case because I'll put it on the helmet and show you everything I got going on there. Because I got, I, I got, okay, just like, and that's pretty simple. It's included with this. So the original GoPro case won't fit. There's also a, a bigger one that's waterproof that comes with it. I got it, but I don't use it really. So on the next clip, we'll put it on the helmet and we're ready to ride and record. All right, welcome back. All right, we got the front. These are GoPro accessories. So I got one that's clipped in, and then it, it angles this way, and then I got another one that goes up. I can tilt these back and forth just to get the right angle. You'll have to play around with that and see what you like. So unscrew that, take it out. I got the tether in there. I'm going to feed this in there just like this. All right. And then you just take this and put it back in. But you want to tilt the camera up a little bit. Let's uh, push that down just a little bit further. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Uh, screw it in. Get it. Get it. Let's get... Come on, now. Get it. There we go. I think I messed up my... The, oh. <laughs> these, are, these must be aftermark now. They're GoPro accessories. So once you get that tight, got the angle where I like it, about right there. And you know, you, you got to have the uh, GoPro tilted back just a little bit because this is not your normal ride style. You're not looking straight all the time. You're actually tilted down, so you want the GoPro back up. I mean, that's just that's kind of common sense, but you can use the app, the GoPro app, to look at see what you're viewing, but it's kind of hard when you're looking down. I need to get a screwdriver and tighten that up. But that's basically it right there. That's how I moto vlog. Camera's on the front, looking sweet. It's kind of funny looking when you look at it from the side you get the whole view right there but that's how I motor vlog so just turn them both on make sure I go fully charged before I go out and we're ready to ride be safe out there enjoy the movement the motorcycle movement